I refer to my work as computational health economics because it brings statistical advances for big data to answer critical problems in health economics. Nearly all prior work on this topic uses decades old statistical techniques. These statistical learning machines take our data and knowledge as inputs into the system while using rigorous, a priori specified evaluation benchmarks grounded in theory to produce interpretable, policy relevant results. This is all computationally efficient and practice focused. The idea being that we take the theoretically optimal and make sure it translates into a fast and user friendly tool. So how can we use statistical machine learning to improve healthcare? This is exactly what I work on, with projects ranging from developing new algorithms that more accurately distribute funds to health plans, to designing systems that allow us to generalize the results of observational health insurance studies to other populations. I call this computational health economics. I've been working with a great team on our computational health economics projects. This includes my student, Savannah Burquist. We recently completed work on the first algorithm that demonstrates insurers can deter vulnerable groups from enrolling based on their prescription drug needs. This algorithm included an application-specific variable selection tool that Savannah is now generalizing into easy-to-use open source code. We recently completed work on the first algorithm that demonstrates insurers can deter... <laughs> <laughs>